Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to episode 11 of Dynasty Tactics. We are in timeline 1 and last episode we continued to hold off against Sal Sal's invasion force. We got some awesome um, officers in the last episode. We got Zhu Zhu, we got Zhao Wei, we got Zhao Ba, we got loads. And we were on the last turn and we need to take Zhang Yang this turn so let's go for it. Everybody, yeah we are going to have to fight two battles. I might cut out one of them, but probably not, I'll probably show it, why not? So this fight, the first fight we're going to have is a castle fight. I think it's the first one in this Liu Bei scenario as a whole. Oh it's not, Zhang Yang is a castle but apparently there is no castle fight this time. So we're fighting Liu Zhong. Ambush, flank, pursue, or charge. Let's go for ambush. So we have a depot over there. So let's have a look at the people we're fighting in this army. I'm not too worried. We've got infantry unit, not bothered. Sima Yi, who has pit, which is kind of worrying. We have Liu Zhong, not worried, he's useless. Another infantry, um, Tian Feng, who has pit and taunt. Um, so both of them together are quite bad. Uh, and we have Jiao Yuan, who we can't capture. So we really would like, I really would like Tian Feng. And that's literally the only one I can capture from here if I really wanted was Tian Feng. So um, let's, well I've got a depot over here. So let's start moving over. I should have really moved Liu Bei behind someone so that Sima Yi can I don't think he can't pit on a river or a shoal, he can only pit on like a, one of these, so let's just, he can't do that, so let's just start getting ready. Moving up, I'm not too bothered about this fight, we can taunt someone, who can we taunt? Infantry, I'd rather taunt Tian Feng, so let's do that straight away because if we don't taunt Tian Feng, Tian Feng is going to taunt one of us. The difference between taunt and pit is that pit is restricted by the terrain in front of you. So if you've got forest in front of you, you can't use pit. But you can use taunt regardless. So we have Tian Feng, so let's everybody, whatever, I'm going to send everybody to try and... Because Tian Feng is the one person we can capture from here, so I would like to walk away with him at least. See we, see, we can pet because it's a grass, but we, if we go here, we can't pet because it's a forest. So let's... Oh, actually, what I want you to do is build a depot over here as well. So just build me that, and then that will boost our morale over on this side as well. Builders are quite important. Not for towers, not for fences, but for depots. Can't build a depot on a river. Can't build anything on a river. Wait, can I? No, I need to be in a shoal, so I need to be here. Wait, what's he gonna do? Is he gonna... You're, you're gonna build a depot there? A, a, okay. Okay. I guess it's kind of annoying, but... Is it though? Because Zhong Yao is a spy and he can just destroy it instantly. So... Okay... You do you. Weird flex, but okay. I can confuse an enemy unit. I would like to confuse... would like to confuse Tian Feng. Because I want to set up a combination tactic. <clears throat> Alright, so let's... I think the people on the left, they're just going to advance and start fighting up there. So Zhang Liao, Zhang Fei, I want, oh no, I can't do that. Right, I'll send Liu Bei down here and then he'll come like that. Right, let's start weakening Tian Feng because I need to surround him. And we need to start working on maybe capturing him. We might, might not. We can't entice him because he's a commander unit, so 
We really need to work. Oh, is Yeah, how you want is gonna come. Oh no, he's a bow unit, so he's gonna just sit and do nothing really. Um, yeah. Let's bring Yan Liang down this way. And we'll send. Yeah, that works out quite nice. Nice little morale boost. Wait, what do I want to do? Huh. It's kind of, I'm kind of in a bit of a weird position. For now, let's just put Gangneng over here behind him. Take down some of his morale. And put you here. I'm gonna need more than just a four, though. It's... I'm gonna need way more than a four tactic combo to do this. I'm not gonna waste tactics on this infantry unit. That's just a complete waste. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get... Let's just bring Libby over here. He's but he's really he really likes he really really likes those freaking uh, depots. I right, can get Zhu Xu and Yan Liang and all that over here. I'm getting to do something with Jia Hao Yuan. I think so. Let's. Link that pet, and maybe I can get that will boost my tactical combo by quite a bit. <sighs> that depot is gonna ruin things. Oh no, a flank! Oh damn. This fight's not going to be difficult, it's just going to be the one after it that we need to do, it's going to be the tricky-ish one. They're moving in, but nothing to worry about at all. Make one unit act last, I would like to make Jia Hao Yuan la act last, because I don't want his link to be interrupted. I should have made Tian Feng go last, shouldn't I? Should have. Just more great thinking on my part. Alright, let's start working on this. It's probably going to take us a little while. Alright, let's link up the fire attack. Ah, oh, come on! Nothing is going my way this this battle so far. Um, yeah, I'm gonna actually send Liu over here. I think those guys can handle this infantry unit. Yeah, and you link him up again. Just keep him there. You stay here. I should have got him to dis destroy the the depot. See, maybe he's just not doing anything, which I'm fine with. I'm okay with that. They managed to get a very small tactical combo. I need to close my door, it's opening and closing on its own. Well, not on its own, it's the wind, but... Is 
it's the one, but it's still not. I still don't appreciate seeing my door open and close like that. Right, let's again link this up. I'm trying. I'm trying to get this. And it's just not happening for me, is it? Right, so far I've got three. Wait, you can use your surround, right? Enemy adjacent front ally in a direct line in front with a clear path to the enemy. I should have that, that's a clear path. So I can get a one, I can get a two, I can get a three, I can get a four, I can get a five. Is a five gonna do it though? Will a five do it? That's the question. Probably not. Oh, I can make it a six with that shift. Can I? That is a river onto a... No, I can't. <sighs> Damn it. That's so frustrating. So, so, so frustrating. Right, I can do a one here. Two here. Three, four, five, six. Right, I'm going to go for the six and hope it works. Fine, let's go for a seven. Let's do it. Yes! Tian Feng is ours. Tian Feng is quite a good strategist and he's going to be one of the ones that Cao Cao uses the most. So I'm happy that we got him and now we can just wipe out the rest of the army but we're not going to do much. We're not even going to... We're probably not even going to bother with the infantry units. Probably not even going to bother with Sima. You might just go straight for... No. You always need to take out everybody with a commander. Because just... Trust me. You, what's funny here is that Liu Zhong doesn't even have a commander flag, but yet he's leading the army. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to focus on wiping them out now. This isn't really much of a battle here. This is kind of just a slaughter. We've got, we've gained some amazing officers for this scenario. We can all enemy units. Yes, we shall. Because we're going to wipe them out. So let's do it. Right, can't do much with Zhu Zhugliang. Let's just, uh, can't do much with you either. Terrain is kind of getting in our way really up quite a bit. Let's just uh, wipe them out. Let's just hit them with tactics after tactic. 
especially while they're um, starved. Uh, yeah, maybe not on you though. We still do want the experience for taking people out, I suppose. Make our people better for future. I would have liked to have done something there, but I'll wait. Come on, Sima Yi, at least give me a bit of a fight. Let's just move in here and attack normally. You're flanking Zhang Liao, well done you. That's some big boy moves right there. I'm kind of curious to see um, what force they send out as at Wan because I know they are trying to take Wan um, at the same time as I am attacking Jian Yang. So. I'm curious to see what kind of force. I'm imagining it's just going to be Zun Yu. Makes one unit act first. We shall make Chen Gui act first. For why not? Why not? See, I could pet you all the way down here. And then that gets you out of the way, so let's just do that. Let's just attack him, just wipe him, lower his morale, bring his troops down, isolate him, and then everybody else go for Zhia how you want. Actually, you, you can stay here and no, you can't even reach him, so just keep on going up after Zhi Hao Yuan. Yeah, this fight's not been that difficult because we've been so buffed. Right, let's just get a tactical combo going with Zhang Fei and Chen Gui and Zhang Liao. Just wipe out that infantry unit. That pest. And we shall... Yeah, we'll do this, and then we'll do this. And we'll link it as well. Damn it. I was hoping we would go first. Him doing that has kind of ruined what I had in mind a little bit. But we can still do something good. Let's just raid through them. Pathetic fools! I'll take on all of you! How that didn't take out Zhi Hao Yuan, I will not know. Let he who desires death face me! Right, we're gonna be finishing up this battle soon. It's not been that... It's not been much, to be fair. Not much has happened, really. We captured Tian Feng, which is great. I'll take that. Right, Zhao Yun, just take him down. Easily done. Mighty Zhi Hao Yuan. Right, everybody else can just stay where they are. Like, there's honestly nothing that's gonna really happen. Uh, yeah, just you muddle, no, muddle them for me if you can. I should have linked that with Zhang, uh, Zhang Liao actually, can't you think of it? Oh no, I couldn't have because Sima Yi was going to move. See? I knew what I was doing. Right, we'll do this. Okay. 
A repel and a charge should finish a stupid infantry unit off. Right, now it's just Simayi, so I'm not too concerned about the rest of this fight. In fact, I can't even bother taking down Simayi, let's just link that up and then just link that up and just do that. Don't need me to move anyone else, we've got a better fight coming next that I'm interested in. And yeah, you couldn't do anything even if you wanted to, so just, uh, yeah. Let's just do this. Remember Zhong Liao's name when you reach hell! And Liu Zhong is taken down. We got a bit lazy there at the end with Sima Yi, but it's okay. We have another fight coming up, so... And this one should prove to be a little bit more challenging. So we got not a lot of level ups. You got Revive. You got Aid. Aid's good. Aid is great. Oh wow, that is, they are going for it. They've, they've got one army, but they've got two spies as well, so they're still quite outnumbered, but that's a little bit more than I was expecting. But look at that army, that's not, that's not that bad. I think we're going to wipe these guys out, no problem. Right, so aid, aid is definitely the, the one to go right. Who do we got? We outnumber them by four armies and quite a bit. We've got Dong Zhao, Spy and Mao Ji. These two guys infiltrated the battlefield and set two different depots up. We get Sao Pi again. And we get Zun Yu yet again, he's back. Not even fully healed. Deng Ai, which is a new gen. Let's just hold position for now. I could, taunt, I could taunt the enemy commander down here straight away, but... Oh, I should have done that because that's Zun Yu and he has pet. I forgot about that. These towers are quite annoying. Like, why did my guys not build me? Uh, I am going to hide Jiang Wei behind all these guys. Why did my um, spies not give me depots? That would have been great. Yeah, they're trying to set something up there. I think we need to close the distance. Yeah, straight away. Should have taunted him down, but... Your lesson yet. It wasn't even that bad. And that is Chen Gong. So I'm just gonna retreat with you. We're just gonna run back and I'm gonna move everybody up. Everybody's going up. And so we're trying to encircle the enemy because right now they do have the advantage in terms of Chen Gong. Fight as a if we can take away a couple of Sao Sao spies here in this fight, that would be beneficial for later on, but we're not too fussed, really, about what goes on in this fight. Make one unit act. Yeah, I actually do would, would like Chen Gong to go first so I can get him further away from everybody.
Yeah, that kind of helped. Yeah, they're really going for the morale, so they're playing the defensive game here. Boosting the morale so they can go fast, waiting for us to come at them. We are going to have to go with them, so let's just go. And um, we still have the... Oh, I can taunt someone. Who's that? That is you, Jen. Let's get you taunted all the way down here, please. What are you going to do? Oh, you're going to go all the way over there and you're going to charge, which is probably the best thing you could have done in that situation. Gets you all the way there. Right, let's um, let's start moving over there towards Eugen. Deng Ai, yeah, Deng is going to circle. Deng Ai is quite a good unit, really. He's quite handy to have. He's quite good, he's got good tactics, he levels up quite well. Oh, I could mislead. Mislead would actually be useful for a change. Let's link that up. And let's actually set you here. Start moving across the battlefield. I need to heal Chen Gong. Because he's taking quite a hit. <laughs> now what are they going to do? What are they going to do? What are they going to do? Nothing. Oh, that's not going to work. Let's uh, bring you back a little bit, going you. Don't want to get you too surrounded. And let's move you... ...here. Let's just work on surrounding you, Jen. Jangwei, I actually want you to start moving up because we need more people up here. If I... Do that there. What are you going to do? You're going to decoy? It's not that bad. We could wind Shang up here and annoyingly Cheng Gong's going before Zhu Yu, which is annoying as hell. Because I could have linked up a muddle there. Ah, frick! Oh, that's annoying. I didn't set him to the right thing there. But oh well, that's fine. Right, you... Yep, that, yeah. Let's just go for this.
Yeah, I wasn't really trying to capture Eugen there because I don't think you can really because we've we've hit Eugen with some really high level combos and nothing's really happened from it. So I wasn't really doing that with the expectation to capture. Is what I'm gonna. That's my story. I'm just gonna go with that. Right, so we've taken out Eugen, one enemy down. The other two of them are confused, which is fantastic. Let's get one showing up here. Right, if I... I can gather these guys, that's... yeah! Let's get that ready. And then muddle these guys. Shouldn't that be a three? <laughs> right, hopefully we can pull this off. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Your link is broken. And you're not confused anymore, sadly. But you're just gonna heal him. Okay, that's fine. So you're going to basically just let me get away with this. Right, yep, if I do that. Muddle, gather, plus a boost. Yeah, before you become active again, let's do this. I unintentionally captured Mao G there. Un completely unintentionally. I didn't think that would work, but we got him. So the enemy is kind of um, getting in a bit of a bad spot. We're starting to, now that my army is fully up here, we're starting to really fight back. <laughs> now Deng Ai is the one I want, so if I could just get a good, oh he's gonna, that's gonna thing him. If I can get a... Set up something good with you. That would be grand. The makings of something okay here. Block all enemy tactics, we shall do that. That's a perfect time for that. Trying my best to think of a way to get you.
charge. If I do a charge, then uh repel then an eight. Then a boost. That's only a four and you're level seven. We'll be patient and we'll try and hold off until we can until we can work this out. <clears throat> Thank you. You just go straight up. Well, that's annoying. <sighs> They're in plane, so I can't fire attack. This could, this could work. This could work. I might have it here. No, that's only going to affect him. It's not going to affect him. It's not going to trigger anything down here. I'm gonna move here because it blocks Dengai and oh no, he can just go straight like that. No, but then if I come here, it blocks Dengai and completely, and he can't move. He's stuck there. Fantastic. So I just need to figure out a way to get this to work. I think he's gonna muddle us. <clears throat> if I aid Pinsar, mislead, surround, try for a flank, for charge. Go for a repel. If I do that now, I think we can make it. Let's go for it. Let me just do a final check. Aid pincer. I could make it even better, but I'm worried about what he's gonna do. If he if he muddles, or what you or what Zun Yu is gonna do. So I'm gonna go for this.
I am so happy with how this has turned out. This has just been fantastic. Oh, Deng Ai and Dong Zhao. So this has been really successful. Like, really successful. The only way this could get better is if we were to capture Zun Yu as well. It's the only way this could possibly get any better. Um, I don't know if we're going to go that far though and get that far, but we are definitely like set up in this timeline. Like I'm so annoyed because my other timelines are going to suck when I jump to them because we're not going to have half as good officers as we have right now. Right, I. What could I do with you, Sal P? I could de I could I could fire attack you actually, and then I could flank you. And then I can taunt you. And we might and we might just link that as well. I can, if I can link that with something. Like if I can link that yeah, if I could link the taunt. And then hit Zun Yu with something good and get get someone else up there to Zun Yu and then I can do... Maybe. I can maybe do this if I'm lucky. Now! Pretty sure Guan Yu has repel, so I'm pretty sure I could still No, it's gonna confuse him. Of course it is. Oh that's Jai Ling. If I do a pence, that's LP. I want to do a flank. I could do a shift with you. Good. Can't do a fire attack there. I could try and go for this now, but I'm not 100% on how good it's going to be. But I think it's going to be as good as we're going to get it. Let's go. Or I could do this. Just link it. Link that. And then actually just move you here because I'd rather have Jiang Wei in there. So let's have you. Let's have you faint and then like that. Come over, you come over here and you can miss lead again. You can aid. Damn, damn it. The link got broke. Oh, and they, they broke both links. Not only just one, but two. So they got me with a circle and a muddle. That's gonna be brutal. We actually lost Sima Lang because of that. Well, that sucks. I was hoping for something a bit better there. We can still possibly do it. I'm thinking we can probably still pull this off.
They got out of that one. I'll admit that. They got out of that. But I've I've got I've got plans in the works, okay? I just Well, he didn't move, so that was kind of dumb on his part. So now I can just set the rest of my turn up to do this. Right, this is gonna... I think we're gonna see a first here. And the, the whole time I've done this... I think we're gonna see a first. We're gonna see every single one of my officers that's involved in this fight... ...do some form of tactic. And if this doesn't capture Zunyu, I don't know what the hell will. Lesson yet. My lord, the enemy is in that direction. We got him. We got Zunyu. Ah, oh, that that was beautiful to watch. That was beautiful to watch. I'm glad I got that on camera. That was a great tactical combo. Maybe one of my more creative ones. You got a, you can one use up to level twelve, which is awesome. Strength a hundred, amazing. So yeah, we got a bunch. Of stuff there, we've occupied Jian Yang, found the Book of Arms, and that's the scenario.
automatically I'm kind of pissed off. I lose Zen Yi for some reason. And somehow they have one. I have all this still, but I mean, why do I lose Zen Yi and Wan when I was clearly kicking ass? So we have Zhang Yang, and then Jia Haldun is at Changban with a small force. Uh, Sao Ren is at Jiang Ling with a small force. And this is us officially into uh, chapter 7. Yeah, we're officially into chapter 7, so um, we are done with this timeline for now. What we're essentially going to do for this, they've actually occupied some stuff there. What we're going to do some stuff um, from now is, is we're going to, we're going to straight away, we're going to attack um, Changban. Um, straight away, we're not waiting for anything. Um, we're also going to send our secondary force up here. Um, to Zen Yi to capture Zen Yi. I might as well just do it now, actually. I'm probably gonna have to. I'm gonna have to give a new. You. Let's put Tian Feng in here. So, my Zhang Fei, you can. You know what? Let's mix things up. Zhang Fei can go north. And. Leo Bay will come south. Do I have a better than Chen Gong? Chen Gong is actually quite well, he's only 51. Zun Yu's got genius. So let's put you there. And you can come down here to Changban and Dian Wei. See, is there anyone better than Yeah, Zhu Zhu, Jiao Ba, Deng Ai? So many. So many! We'll put Zhu Zhu in there. I like how this is a army of entirely Wei officers historically and they're on. And Dian Wei, you will go up north. Who will go up north and who will go south? Right, Cheng Wei will go south. Kwai Lang will go north. Actually, would I rather have... Because I do have two new spies that I captured. Uh, Sima Lang. Mao Ji. Go to... Because everybody... Because now that we're in a fresh scenario, everybody has um, gotten their uh, troops replenished. So... Zong Yao, I want you to go north. Um, go two can go south. Right, so we've got two envoys, two armies, two em two armies, two envoys. Yeah, we're pretty much set. Can we form any other armies? We can if we really want. So let's make another army with Deng Ai, because he's quite good at a leader, but he's only got himself at the moment. So we haven't lost any of these territories, but we did lose, for some reason we lost these, I don't know why. And Zhuge Liang is no longer available at the moment, anyway. But that is timeline one, so let's drop a save. Uh, let's drop a save indeed. Been doing this timeline one for nearly seven hours. Quite a lot more compared to the rest of the timelines at the moment. And then what what timeline will we jump to? Will we jump to it probably makes sense at the moment to do like the historical timelines first. So I just let me just double make sure because I get this thing where I save and then I automatically freak out just in case like I didn't actually save correctly for some reason. I think that's a gamer thing. So I double save. So we will actually jump towards let's double check my timeline guide. We will actually be jumping towards timeline three at the moment. Because we're gonna try and keep all the historical stuff and the all the um alternative history stuff. We're going to try and keep all that together. 
So that's timeline one. Now this one, if you remember, timeline one is where we decided to defend Liu Zhong from Cao Cao when he was planning to surrender. If we do the painful jump down to timeline three, which we haven't done yet, we're here and we're back here and we actually attacked Liu Zhong. And our objective, I'm pretty sure, hang on, let me just double check, is that chapter 7? No, that's chapter 6. The Battle for Jing, yeah, that's, that, that's chapter 6. So we need to do this now, so we need to occupy all these uh, territories, essentially. So, and our capital is up here as a new. And of course we do not have the awesome... I clearly need to reorganize these. But, um, as you can see, we... We do not have as many awesome officers as we do in Timeline 1. Something that's gonna hurt, because as we look we can see that, yeah, it's gonna hurt. So we're actually at war in this timeline with Cao Cao and um, Liu Zhong. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to form an army and um, obviously with Liu Bei. And we'll chuck in so Cheng Gong is actually our best strategist at the moment. And we'll chuck in a couple of strong officers. And then the other army that can go down will be led by I guess Hao Zhao with Man Chong. Jai Ling and we'll go with We'll go with Gaoshan. Right, and these two armies can be my these can attack the Jian Ling. Straight away they'll they'll go and try and um, take out Liu Zhong. And go on, you can lead an army with ah uh, really Chen Kun. I really am lacking in um, strategists. We'll get Li Dian as a strategist. We'll get Zhao Yun, and we'll get we'll get Cao Zhen, and hopefully another army. Yui Jin can lead it. Oh, that's not good. Ooh, that's not good. So I can only... Right, so that army is going to be lacking. So let's move you guys to... Actually, can I send you to Wei Zing? If I can, and just have Go on you there. Do I really need... Let me see my spies. How many spies do I got? I got Sima Lang, Cheng Gui. Right, let me send both of these guys. No, one of those guys there and one of those guys down here. Because we're going to be defending against... We're going to have to defend against Cao Cao. We can wait on Wei Zhang, I think. We can wait. Let me just get... Let me just make sure we can hold off Cao Cao. And we're going to have to do this. Once we take out Liu Zhong's capital of Jian Ling, I'm pretty sure he just disappears. Like, that will be the end of him. And these will become Jian Jia and... Uh, Shan Yong will become a vacant cities, which we can then just capture at will. But as you can see, we've got quite a... All these people that I have and other freaking um, areas we don't have right now, which is frustrating. But that's going to be it for this episode. When we come back, 
I'll show off the quick flash, the, uh, the flashback to the story behind Timeline 3, where we're at in the story with Timeline 3. I'll show you guys where we're at, and then we will do this. We'll attack Liu Zhong. We'll most likely defend against Cao Cao again at Wan. We, we do a lot of fighting at Wan in the historical timeline, and then we'll do we'll do all that really. Um, got a lot to do. Got a lot to do. We don't actually have these cities here. So the, t the jump from Timeline 1 to Timeline 3 is a bit jarring because we don't have amazing officers like we do in Timeline 1, so... Timeline 1, the historical route, is actually the easiest so far. So anyway, thanks for being here. We're going to drop a save in the correct timeline, which is not Timeline 1. Timeline 3. And we're going to end the episode. So, thanks for being here. Join me next time when we continue on our adventures with Dynasty Tactics. I'll see you then.